So as we all know, Boeing is very strong in the freighter market of aircraft, with an impressive portfolio of freighters ranging from small, medium to large size freighters. And today, we will be comparing two of their largest freighter aircraft offerings, the efficient Boeing 777 freighter and the capable 747-8 freighter. Let's see which of these large size freighter aircraft from Boeing is best in this epic comparison on the Airplane Productions channel. By the way, if you're new to the channel, do consider subscribing and stay tuned for more detailed aviation analysis and epic comparisons on the way. Also, if you are like the latest in the aviation industry, do consider checking out the Airplane Productions news page on Instagram, the new and future home for all future aviation news updates. A link is in the description below, so do check it out. Also, given the current coronavirus situation as of time of upload, I would wish all the best of safety. If you would like to contribute, I have included a donation link in the description to the Global Giving Organization, a trusted site for donations. Do check it out in the description below. In the meantime, may the aviation industry stay united, stay strong, stay together in these difficult times. Right, let's kickstart the battle of the freighters. Starting with performance, two extra engines on the 747-8 freighter certainly gives it a boost in range payload capabilities. But then the 747-8 freighter version is based on an aircraft a class above the 777, with it being classified as a very large aircraft, while the 777 is a traditional large white body. Still, when comparing freighters, any aircraft above 100 tons is considered to be a large freighter, and both certainly have impressive performances to classify as a large freighter. The 777 freighter is able to carry 103 tons and the 747-8 freighter 140 tons. Shockingly, the smaller freighter, the 777, actually has the higher maximum rated operational range, with the 777F or 777 freighter being able to haul its cargo over 4,880 nautical miles, and the 747-8F being able to carry more cargo but over shorter ranges of 4,390 nautical miles. All in all, the 747 can carry more, but the 777 freighter can fly further. In terms of engines, the 747-8 actually has more fuel-efficient engines than the 777 freighter, with it using the new GENX engines from 787. However, shockingly, they are less powerful, with the GENX-2B variant powering 747-8, producing 66,500 pounds of thrust each. The 777 series is powered by the most powerful engine on the market, with its GE90-115B engines producing 115,000 pounds of thrust each, though they do also burn slightly more fuel. Still, both end up with similar operating costs as the 777 has two fewer engines. And that brings us on to efficiency. In terms of efficiency, well, the 747 has newer, more efficient engines. As it has two more, the aircraft does burn around 22% more fuel per trip, burning an average of 8.83 tonnes compared to 6.8 tonnes for the 777 freighter. However, the 747-8 carries around 38 tons more payloads on these trips, meaning that in terms of cost per ton, things are turned, with the 777 freighter burning 0.067 tons of fuel per hour for every ton of cargo carried, while the 747-8 freighter burns 0.063 tons of fuel over the same hour per ton. All in all, both of these are some of the most efficient and profitable freighters on the market with high efficiency and performance.
Moving on to the cargo base, in terms of outright volume, nothing can beat the 747. The 747 has a main cargo bay with volume of 692.7 cubic meters compared to 521 cubic meters of usable volume for the 777 freighter. This all translates to the 747-8F carrying 7 more pallets than 777 freighter. In terms of the lower decks of both aircraft, 777 freighter takes 10 pallets while the 747 freighter takes 12. Furthermore, other than giving the 747 its chic look, the location of the cockpit on 747 and its iconic hump allows for a huge cargo door, which combined with the larger dimensions of the 747 cargo hold allows for larger items of weird shapes or sizes to be easily transported, while it also has a standard cargo door similar to 777. In terms of advantages and disadvantages, 777 Freighter is a lower risk freighter and offers the right payloads for today's market. Thanks to commonality with other 777 variants, which are some of the most successful and widely used long-range white bodies in the civilian aircraft sector, hiring costs for pilots to fly the freighter is reduced, while two fewer engines and a simple proven airframe reduces maintenance costs. This makes the 777 freighter an easy one to justify, especially given the weakening growth of the air freight industry. Furthermore, as the 777 has been fully developed and is an older aircraft, Boeing will be able to offer it at a lower and more attractive price to airlines. As an example, the list price of 777 Freighter is at 352.3 million, while list prices of Boeing 747-8 Freighter are 419.2 million. Both are calculated in US dollars. However, 777 doesn't have the outright load lugging capabilities compared to 747, while the 747 burns less fuel per tonne of cargo carried, meaning that if airlines do fill it, it is simply one of the most profitable freighters out there. However, that doesn't seem to attract airlines to order it, apart from the largest freight airlines that need its capacity. To back this up, the 777 Freighter has received a total of 232 orders, while the 747-8 Freighter has received 89 orders. In all, the slower growth in this good freighter market, airlines are placing orders for smaller large-sized freighters to be the backbone of their freighter fleet. So then, which large Boeing freighter is the better freighter for freight airlines? Well, for large airlines looking for the highest payloads possible without sacrificing efficiency, the new 747-8 freighter is a powerful freighter that still offers decent levels of efficiency. However, as the air freight industry has seen little growth, freight demand isn't expected to rise any further. All in all, the 777 Freighter is the right-sized freighter in the long-range large freighter category that also offers the right levels of operating economics for the freighter market today. Do you agree with this verdict? And if you don't, why so? comment below. Thanks for watching till the end of yet another epic comparison, until we meet in the next one, wishing everyone a truly clear sky ahead.